another episode of the Where You At Show. We're gonna jump right into it. Let them know who we here with. 100 grand, man. All capital letters. 100 grand, man. Baltimore legend. Absolutely. Wh- Repping what part of Baltimore? I'm repping east, but I'm, you know, I ain't caught up on geographical location, so I'm repping Baltimore. Straight up. Bloodline, you know what I'm saying? My kid, my man, is east, the trolls, so you know, that's pretty much it. All right, for, for people that don't know, you have a real rich, strong history in the city. Yeah. You know, we could go back with the music and the entertainment. You want to start right there? Tell yeah. them how you got in and all that? You know what I'm saying? Basically, you know, I was just in the streets and uh, my little brother, you know, he kind of different in the sense where his, little, his ability to process information is different than most. So when he want to do something, he just do it. Want to sell cars, sell cars. Want to sell houses, sell houses. We make, woke up one day and wanted to make beats. So that's how it all started. He was making beats. Then we went and tried to get a lot of rappers and put money behind them. So, you know, when he went in the feds, I ended up doing it myself. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, me, uh, a few other dudes, Boss Man, uh, Scar, uh, Lowe's, Tim Tree, he was kind of like the pioneers of the Baltimore uh, rap thing. You see a lot of them. Um, a lot of the guys come from come 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 from behind us and taking it to a whole another level like the, the YG techs and the boosters and you know people like that. So, you know so I'm I'm kinda you know, proud that we we, we we enabled Baltimore to have a dream because man, you know, one time man, and it's real shit, like if you if you was chasing a dream or rapping or acting, whatever, you kinda was looked at like on some clown shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad I, I, I kinda opened those gates, you feel me? But that's pretty much it. Well, you know, I believe if y'all had the social media engine behind y'all too, like, cause y'all, y'all you know, y'all was a powerhouse. It's kind of like me? the cheat code, like, right? And I know because you know, I went from performing in front of seven people to performing in front of fifty people to paying to perform in the club to getting paid to perform in the club. You know what I'm saying? So I was just building my brand and my name became bigger than my talent. So I just can't imagine if I had the social media machine. You know what I mean? Because I kind of was saying every fucking thing I was doing. <laughs> they were saying it, opposed to how a lot of people would talk about money and talk about females and talk about this. And then when you kind of see them, man, so they ain't Rolex diamonds. What the fuck you done to that? You feel what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. Yeah, you definitely, definitely had a um, a name that preceded you. You feel me? Yeah. Like I was telling you, you know, I, I was a kid from over west. So when we was hearing 100 grand, 100 grand, we like, man, who's this 100 grand, man? Like, he got 100 grand, you feel me? I actually got my name from losing 114,000, like 48. That's how I got my name. Wow. And I, you know, I was, I was sick about it. You know, I, went, I lost part of 114, like on a, like on a traffic style, I lost 64,000. Mm. So, you know, so my brother started calling me 100 grand because he said, he act like it ain't hurt me. That shit hurt like a summer. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't sleep. Only reason I only reason I ain't panic because they ain't get it all. So you know, here's what it is. All right. So you know, you was basically headlining things back then. What can you say is different or better with the scene that's going on in the city now? It's just like the talent level is, is immaculate. These kids can rap. Ain't, you know when I when I when I came through, it was dudes that can rap, and it was dudes that was okay. But because it was so few, it was it was all right. Everybody kind of blended in, and you uh, and you had time to really work on your craft like me. But now you got to actually know how to rap to even have to even be competitive, to even you know what I'm saying, and to get in the game or to to even record with somebody can even you know what I mean, pay attention to you. You got to have bars like these little niggas can. That's a big difference, and like you said, like that social media machine, man. It, it only take. You know what fucked my head up, man? When I see, I came out the feds in 2015, and I seen President Day will have like three million views. I'm like, damn, this nigga from Bar, I don't fucking do that. I thought he was like on, on. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I know it was different. Now, um, you were saying how that y'all was 
you know, thinking about putting money behind artists? Do you ever think about like starting a, a you know, a serious label here? I actually, I already got a label, Power Move Records. He's already got. Say it one more time for Power Move Records turned into Power Move Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? I still got that LLC. Um, and you know, when I get out, you know, I'm still on federal paper, so I'm gonna start my management company once I get off paper, so I can be able to move because I got a lot of ass or assets. I got a lot of avenues for people uh, if they want to chase their dream. I make it easier for them. You know what I mean? So I mean, all right, with the climate that's going on in the city, like, what kind of advice can you give to the younger ones that's coming up? I mean, every problem I saw with a bullet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we programmed to kill each other because we programmed to hate each other. I mean, just really think about it. You shoot a motherfucker the same complex as you, and wake up in the morning looking in the mirror, and you can live with that. And you kind of like you're not, a, you're not, a, you're not, a, you're, not a, you're not even inhumane. You're not humane. Like you don't have no shame. You don't have, you don't feel it in your spirit. So, um, I tell a lot of these guys, a lot of these young dudes, like man, some shit you can talk out. That, I mean, most most shit don't require killing. You know what I'm saying, Baltimore life cheap here, man. You get a nigga smoke for a chicken wrap from Sharif's. You know what I'm saying? So I try to get I try to get him to turn it avenue, man, and talk shit out like men, man. Be men. I'm the kind of motherfucker like this. If you got a big problem, y'all can take it in the room, and leave your phones on, and knock it out. Get your phones back and let it go. You know what I'm saying? I just want people to live and let live because people ain't. Younger generation ain't taking into account the generation that's come behind them. Absolutely. So, what you got coming up for the future, man? Oh, what man, what a hundred grand man got coming? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually uh, ment- I got a mentor, a partner with a mentorship with Convergent Health Systems, man. With I provide you know jobs and things like that, man. I come out there and try to help people become the best version of themselves, man. This mentorship is real. I really. I think I was born to do so. That's, that's kind of what I'm into right now. But then the management company in March. Other than that, man, I'm just moving how I'm moving. Yeah, y'all heard it first, man. The Where You At show, man. The Where You At show, man. This man came out at 12 o'clock. You gotta respect that, man. <laughs> I mean, you, let me tell you something, man. You never remember the Monday nigga when he the shit on Fridays. Woo! Let that, that, that sink in. See, people don't know the grind that people get into. They just, when they see motherfucker with Balenciaga, when they want to they got him. Grind, man. Grind, man. Straight up. Grind and stay out the way. I'm about to buy some real estate at that spot called Stay Out the Way. Ah, uh, 100 you know, that grand, location, man. Man, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, signing out, man. We got 100 grand, man. Where you at, show, Where man? Appreciate at, man. the love, bro. I appreciate you having me, bro. Straight up. All right. All right.